My name is Mary Asunta and I'm the Senior Policy Advisor uh, to the Southeast Asia Tobacco Control Alliance or SIATCA. Uh, I'm pleased and uh, satisfied with the decisions uh, of the COP7 on uh, finding alternate, uh, alternative livelihood to tobacco farmers and as well as protecting the environment. And uh, usually tobacco growers uh, are the most vulnerable group that is uh, used by uh, the tobacco industry to fight tobacco control legislation. Therefore, the decisions made at this COP are important. Uh, and uh, the main decisions are, for example, to ensure that uh, there is uh, sufficient support uh, for tobacco farmers to find alternate uh, livelihoods. Uh, there are several reports that are in the process of being uh, prepared and uh, should be ready very soon. Those reports uh, by the ILO and by the FAO and also the WHO will be helpful uh, to governments uh, in providing information that they can then utilize uh, to prepare their national legislation. Uh, and another very important decision is uh, to ensure that the UN agencies uh, uh, make their policies to be consistent with uh, Article 5.3 of the FCTC. And this means that um, organizations like the ILO uh, ideally should terminate uh, their relationship with the tobacco industry and to ensure that, uh, that they are compliant with uh, FCTC. And uh, this is an important decision. And another one would also be that um, that there is a, a UN agencies are able to, to come together to uh, ensure that the environment is protected uh, in terms of uh, the type of devastating effects that tobacco has um, on the environment. So this has to be tackled um, at the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. So these would be the main decisions uh, of COP7.